Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll provide you another preset which is for the mountain that is the moody mountain the name of this preset and you know the title of this video is a moody mountain Photoshop preset. So let's get started if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. I collect this photo from the pixels.com if you want to get the download link please check out my video description. Press Ctrl or Command J and after that I'll go to the filter and camera filter. If you want to update your camera filter into 12.3, please check out my video description for the update link. And from here you will find out small menu, go to the load settings option. From here uh, I just uh, moody mountain this one. I'll provide you that XMP file. You can use that XMP file in your Photoshop as well as your Lightroom. Here i got this type of effects for this and what i have done in these uh, settings that means the xmp file let's see here the exposure that is zero and the contrast plus 49 and highlight that is 57 that's why you are getting the clouds prominently here and the shadow that is uh, minus 26 here some the moody look for the shadow this value and the texture plus seven and here if we go to the next one in our curves options here i locked up over here the input value is 255 and output value is 243 and here as well that is 197 for the input value output value 185 and input value 113 output value 101 and here 36 for the input value output value is 42 and finally the input value is zero and uh, the output value is 38 you are getting moody look for that and red blue and green there is no curves over there if we go to the detail option here is some sharpening that is 62 percentage and if i increase that thing the radius and the detail everything is like that that is automated that means when i give in the 62 automatically got that value from there i didn't change over there and the noise reduction here i give in the noise reduction value that is 35 and the detailing that is 50 and if i go to the color noise reduction that is 25 and value of the detail that is 50 and smoothness 50 and then color mixture here the hue saturation luminance if i go to the hue options and you are getting the yellow that is hue minus 36 a little bit orangish that's why you are getting the grasses are orange over there green that is plus 2 the blue that is minus 28 and saturation if i go to the saturation portion the orange saturation that is minus 6 and yellow plus 14 you know saturation is the percentage of the color how many percentage will be the color it defines with the saturation here the green saturation that is minus 74 and the blue minus 44 luminance you know intensity of the color is a uh, luminance here the orange luminance plus 72 yellow 63 uh, green that is minus 100 blue plus 36 and if we jump into the split toning here the shadow color and highlight color define with the split toning and here the highlight color is that is 34 and the saturation 11 that means hue value is 34 when you're giving the 34 in your computer you are getting the same value of the color in the saturation 11 and the shadow portion 173 is the color value of the uh, hue and the saturation 6 that's good if i go to the fx options here some vignetting that is minus 5 for enough for me and the calibration i didn't touch the calibration portion in this preset so you are getting the before one normal as usual image but if you apply this one that means my effects that is the example file you are getting the creative look of this in this summer you may go to the traveling for anywhere and uh, especially the mountain view you can use that preset for your photographs and hit the ok button 
and you can use another filters from the nick collection and other stuffs if you want you have to go to the filter nick collection and color effects pro 4 that means this one is another plugins of the photoshop and a bunch of filters over there if you want to get the download link please check out my description from here my favorite the settings is the cross processing from here lots of method over there which one is perfect for your preferences you have to find it out and you can apply that things t04 is good for me here's the strength if you need you can change up the strength and hit the ok button it will take couple of seconds and providing you the final output for your ready pictures and uh, like that so let's see the before image was like that the final image is like that so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query you guys please do comment in my video comment section if you want to get the stock image and the plugins download link please check out my video description and until the next video i may see when you signing out today stay safe stay at home bye bye